Hi guys, in this video, we are going to check out 10 best places to visit in Missouri. The state of Missouri has everything, mountains, forests, lakes, and waterfalls. The big cities offer resorts and restaurants, but the wilderness offers camping under the stars. Although Missouri is often overlooked, it is a fascinating place with a variety of sides to explore. From wide open spaces and waterways to large and vibrant cities and quiet country towns, there's something for everyone here. The cultural depth of Missouri is also worth exploring. A city like St. Louis and Kansas City may offer spectacular sights and thriving culinary and music scenes, but others like Hamilton enjoy a more down-home atmosphere. The Show Me State is named after the raging river that runs through it, and it is home to some of the most scenic and beautiful landscapes in the country. When it comes to experiencing life on the Great Plains, Missouri is a perfect fit with so much to offer. There are so many awesome places to see in Missouri, so here are 10 places you shouldn't miss. But first, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Mark Twain National Forest There are many things to see and do in the Mark Twain National Forest, featuring mountains, forests, springs, streams, and lakes, making it an incredible place that will delight outdoor enthusiasts and nature lovers alike. The park is spread across a huge area in the southeast of the state and consists of several wilderness areas and scenic rivers that are of national significance. It is named after Mark Twain, a famous author and Missouri native who wrote many famous works. Over 350 kilometers of the Ozark Trail went through the idyllic landscapes of the Ozark Mountains, connecting the patches of pristine forest and untouched nature found along the trail. Numerous campsites and picnic areas can be found throughout the region. Another highlight of the area is the Glade Top Trail National Scenic Byway, which boasts incredible views over the surrounding countryside as it passes through the area. Springfield The third largest city in Missouri, and known as the birthplace of Route 66, Springfield is located in the southwest of the state. There are numerous diners and motels themed after the famous and historic road, as well as an antique mall and vintage car museum. Additionally, there are some great educational and interactive tourist attractions in the city. Visitors enjoy its excellent Discovery Center and the well-preserved Wilson's Creek National Battlefield. The area's most popular attraction is the Fantastic Caverns, a vast cave system that can be explored on jeeps. Springfield is also known as the Queen City of the Ozarks because of the forests, mountains, and natural beauty surrounding it. How had Tonka State Park? It is best known for the hulking castle ruins that lie at its heart, but Ha Ha Tonka State Park offers much more. A Kansas City businessman, Robert McClure Snyder, bought and developed the park in 1905 as a private property. The ruins of the stone mansion he built now make for an outstanding viewing area and are a defining feature of the park, tragically destroyed in the 1940s. The structure is styled after 15th century European castles. A picturesque brick arch and sturdy stone wall overlook the glistening lake below, which is now used for boating and swimming. In addition to the castle, the park is home to some amazing caves, sinkholes, and bluffs, as well as scenic hiking trails through its forests and cursed landscapes. Branson. In the southwest of Missouri, Branson is a fun and festive place often referred to as family-friendly Las Vegas. This is due to the myriad of mesmerizing magic, music, and comedy shows, 
that are hosted at more than 100 entertainment theaters that line the Neon Lit Strip. Besides its flashily decorated performance venues, the city is home to dozens of motels and restaurants. It is also home to attractions like the Titanic Museum, Ripley's Auditorium, and Hollywood Wax Museum. There are also amusement parks in Branson, as well as go-karting, mini-golf, and ziplining for family fun. The scenic Table Rock Lakeshore is a popular spot for swimming, kayaking, and water sports for locals and tourists alike. Maramec State Park The park features majestic bluffs, lush forests, and gloomy caves, making it one of the best places to catch some sun. Located in the east of the state not far from St. Louis, it encompasses a beautiful landscape and lies along the Maramec River. There are more than 40 caves in the park, which are popular among hikers and fishermen. The park's visitor center provides guests with information about its fascinating formations, its ecology and environment. There are many people who camp or stay in the park's lodges so that they can wake up to the breathtaking views. Kansas City Despite being overlooked by tourists, Kansas City is one of the largest and liveliest metropolitan areas in the Midwest. It lies on the banks of the Missouri River, straddling the Kansas-Missouri state line, somewhat confusingly bordered by the smaller Kansas City. It is also delightfully nicknamed City of Fountains. More than 200 fountains are dotted throughout its scenic streets. In addition, boasting the largest number of boulevards on earth, except for Paris, the city offers world-class museums and performing arts theaters, alongside attractive and artsy neighborhoods. There are more than a hundred barbecue joints scattered around the city, so no visit would be complete without sampling some of its sizzling strip steaks. Hannibal In the northeastern part of the state, bordering with Illinois, Hannibal is an attractive and charming city that is famous for being the boyhood home of Mark Twain. He was inspired to write two of the most popular novels of all time by the laid-back town he grew up in, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. While wandering around the city, you'll notice many historical sites depicted in his writings or related to the novelist himself. There are also many other interesting things to see and do in Hannibal, such as strolling along the Mississippi River waterfront or camping in the cave complex that was featured in five of Twain's works and is a popular attraction for visitors. Ozark National Scenic Riverways it was established in 1964, and Ozark National Scenic Riverways became the first national park to protect a river system. This park encompasses everything from meadows to forests to caves, springs, and cliffs. There are many outdoor activities available in the park because of its wonderful wilderness and beautiful natural surroundings. Besides fishing and swimming in scenic rivers and streams, Visitors can explore more than 300 caves. There is a visitor center and small museum at Van Buren, the park's headquarters. Lake of the Ozarks In 1931, the Osage River was dammed to create Lake of the Ozarks. There are many reasons to visit this area, including professionally designed golf courses, scenic campgrounds, lakefront resorts, and water activities. In addition to its divine scenery and a wealth of outdoor recreation opportunities, the Lake of the Ozarks is the Midwest's most popular lake resort destination. Due to its serpentine shape, the vast man-made reservoir is nicknamed Puff the Magic Dragon. The area boasts a total of 1,800 kilometers of scenic shoreline, which is more than all of California combined. There are quiet and lively areas on the lake, 
as well as great boating, fishing, and water sports wherever you go. Aside from that, there are some excellent water parks and state parks. There's something for everyone, whether it's for a family holiday or weekend getaway with friends. There are plenty of things to do and attractions along the massive shoreline, including shopping, dining, and a welcoming community. The Bagnell Dam is a marvel of engineering that created the Lake of the Ozarks. St. Louis There is something magical about St. Louis, with its iconic gateway arch dominating and defining the city's skyline. Located on the Mississippi River on the Illinois border and named after Louis of France, the city that has long been known as the Gateway to the West now features the world's tallest human-made monument, the Gateway Arch. It can be seen from all around the city and even from long distances on nearby highways, as it is located in Jefferson National Expansion Memorial Park. Visitors can take an elevator up to the top of the arch for incredible views out over the city, as well as climbing the 630 feet to the viewing platform. In addition to this show-stopping site, the city is very beautiful and pleasant to explore. Its diverse neighborhoods and districts are filled with green spaces. As downtown is known for its luxury hotels, corporate headquarters, and sparkling sports arenas, Lackleeds Landing and Le Fayette Square are known for their beautiful historic architecture.